Hi, my name is Abdul Shahed. I'm a physician in Ohio Medical Group since 2005. I'll be talking today about diabetes. The reason I picked diabetes to talk about today is the size of the problem. We know that more than 10% of Americans do have diabetes, but you have to add another 30% of people who have pre-diabetes. And we know that most of pre-diabetic patients will become one day diabetics. So that's why we think that we should address the problem from the very beginning. There is a lot of exciting new medications and regimens to control diabetes. I call it an epidemic because if you do the math, that's 40% of Americans. And that's why I feel very strongly about treating diabetes from the very beginning and getting the patients all the benefits that they can get. Um, there's two types of diabetes, ty diabetes type 1 and diabetes type 2. And by far, diabetes type 2 is the bulk majority of cases, it's about 95%. And the reason is that type 1 is somehow genetic, so it's really, the chances of having it is much less than type 2, which is related to our lifestyles and obesity being the major risk factor for it. So um, that's why we believe that the size of the problem and is not going to get any smaller because, as we noticed, as a population here in the United States, obesity is becoming a bigger problem. And most of the newer medications are really engineered toward treating the diabetes and trying to lose weight because we found that they go hand in hand. Diabetes type 2 is the leading cause for blindness, losing a limb, and renal problems that usually leads to dialysis. It's obviously a major contributing factor to heart disease and strokes. We find diabetes to be playing a factor in pretty much every morbidity, comorbidity around us right now. Now, uh, diabetes affects men and women equally. There is some changes um, when it comes to races, but really it's, it's equally distributed in all sexes, ages, and um, we as physicians feel like one of the problems that patients do not recognize the symptoms clearly. As a matter of fact, 90% of times we discover diabetes without a leading symptom. That's what makes screening for diabetes a necessity after age of 30 once a year. It's a very simple test that your physician can do and determine if you are in the normal area, the diabetes area, or in the gray area, which we call the pre-diabetes, which is really the most important part because it represents almost 25 to 30% of Americans. There is a lot of myth related to diabetes. Most of patients think that, you know, they're gonna be on insulin, they're gonna be on painful shots. And the truth of the matter that insulin is an important part of treating diabetes, but there is a lot of other agents, for the most part they're oral agents. Once they start on insulin, that leads to, you know, the late stages of diabetes and being on dialysis, and that's usually a scary, you know, um, scary phenomenon for the patients. But what we found that, really, it's the delay of using the insulin, which is the main problem. Some patients, we really need to use insulin. Um, what makes interest, what makes diabetes interesting for me is, it's really numbers. Numbers do not lie. A lot of patients come and tell me, I'm doing great, how come my average that you're talking about is not good? And I really have to go by the average. And if we keep your average below a certain number, we're pretty much restricting a lot of the complication that can happen with diabetes.